Last night, the Lakeland Dreadnoughts battled it out against the Venice Indians in their spring football season opener. Coming up, we have the results from that game. And we'll continue our coverage of spring football. We will tell you where you can find us at one of tonight's games. Could it be one of yours? I don't know. This is my GSPN Recap. Good afternoon, guys. I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And thank you guys for joining us for this edition of My GSPN Recap. Yes, sir. This show is brought to you by GardenGrocer.com and Central Florida Kim Drive. That's right. And we do have a very exciting show for you guys lined yes, up sir, today yes, of some spring football results from last night. Mm -hmm. But before we get started with all that action, I want you guys to go ahead and make sure that you guys are following us along on all of our social media, uh, Twitter at My GSPN Sports. Instagram at MyGSPN, and go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything that we have going on here and your sports news. Yes, sir. Last night, we were down in Lakeland to see the Lakeland Dreadnoughts take on the Venice Indians, That's man. right, and it was a very good game from Crazy, start to man. finish. Crazy. It was a fight on both sides of the ball. I did not expect this game to go down as it did. Venice, who won the state championship two years ago, put up an amazing fight against a basically brand new Lakeland team. Yeah, man, 30 dreadnoughts who played on the championship team are now seniors and are now graduating and are now not playing in this game. So many players had to step in to get their first snap as starters, including freshman quarterback number 12, Mason Martin. Mason's jumping into the starting role for the first time and he didn't look too bad. He had a few issues with the play clock, but having Lakeland's explosive running backs in the backfield with you makes things a little bit easier. Yeah, man, the running backs came out pretty good. Uh, backup running back Reggie Kellum actually got the first touchdown of the game for Lakeland, tying the game up 7-7. And it was pretty back and forth action the whole first half, man. That's right. They were tied up at 14 apiece at halftime. And coming out into the third quarter, Venice found themselves up by 10 points. Now, this is when we saw Clemson University commit DeMarcus Bowman really come out. He had three touchdowns in the second half and 240 yards rushing. He was out there looking like Terminator X. <laughs> Stiff arms, mm. hurtling people, mm. running over tacklers, mm. and he is not afraid of contact, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, man, Debo is out there making some great plays. And number four, uh, Quadri Q Hall, sorry if I butcher your name, also had a great game for Lakeland. But this was in the last possession of the game. The tough safety had two huge tackles, including one that was flagged, but we, we won't talk about that word. <laughs> and the interception that sealed the game for the Dreadnoughts. Star players making big plays when the game is on the line. That's right. We even had a chance to speak with Coach Pick after the game to get his thoughts on his brand new team. I think we just showed a lot of heart. I mean, we scored 33 points on a really good team. We gave up 30. Um, but I think, you know, that just kind of speaks to what kind of team we have the potential to be. If we get in the weight room tomorrow, start working like we always do, I think we're going to have a heck of a football team. That was an amazing game last night, Anthony, and it's going to be really exciting to see what Lakeland, the defending state champs, bring to the table this year. Again, like you mentioned earlier, mm. losing 33 seniors. Yes, sir is a big deal. Yeah, they lost basically the whole defensive line, a lot of people on their offensive line, their linebackers, but they have a lot of guys stepping in. You know, they reload, they don't rebuild. So a lot of guys came in, did their job, and they got the win. That's 33 right. to zero. 33 30. Night. And it's going to be, I mean, that's a team that we covered a lot last year. You guys can mm -hmm. be expecting more coverage on the Dreadnoughts this upcoming season. Uh, tonight we are uh, continuing our spring football coverage. Uh, I'm going to be out at West Orange High School here in Winter Garden, Florida, uh, watching them take on Vieira. And it's going to be a great game. West Orange last season finished 7-4, and four, and they made it into district play. And Vieira last year finished 8-4, and four, and they made it to the second round of the playoffs. So two really strong teams coming back in. Going to go ahead and score off tonight. That should be another great matchup right there. And I will be down in Kissimmee for Osceola against Edgewater. Um, Osceola finished last year 9-3, but they lost to Manatee in the first round of the playoffs. Now, Edgewater, who's someone who've also been covering a little bit last year, they looking a lot, a lot, a lot more impressive each year. They went, uh, didn't win a game three years ago, went nine and five two years ago, and last year made it deep in the playoffs. So let's see what they can do this year. That's right. Those are going to be two exciting games, and you guys can expect highlights from that later today and up until tomorrow. Yes, um, also tomorrow we have the baseball playoffs. It's going to be the regional semifinals. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be out at Windermere High School watching them take on the Haggerty Huskies at four o'clock. So again, more highlights from that coming up. And that should be um, another big game there. It's not yeah, to cut you off there, but game. I'm, I'm kind of excited good. for it. It's all to good. To see Riley yet. Green, who we saw earlier in the year, see what he can do again against that tough Windermere pitching, man. That's right. 
and uh, Windermere is on a Im very impressive winning streak right now. Um, it's up to, I want to say, around 20 games, and they've only lost four games on the season. So Okay, so we have hard. maybe the best player in Orlando against maybe the best team in Orlando. Who do you think is going to get the, the win there? I'm going to go with Windermere on this one. They've been um, looking super impressive, and they've been pulling out wins that not a lot of teams can stay poised for. After playing games where they find themselves down, they don't come out with a head of steam until the end of the game, and they end up winning. Keep That's that all. composure. Keep that composure. That's so right. very composed team, very well coached. Um, True. It's going to be exciting to see what they can pull out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, but that is our show for today, wrap, guys. guys. Uh, before we get wrapped up here, we would like to go ahead and once again thank our sponsors, GardenGrocer.com. If you're staying in the Orlando area at one of the Disney resorts, go ahead and place an order online for groceries to be delivered to your room at the time of arrival. Save money and time by ordering at GardenGrocer.com. And let's not forget, Central Florida Kim Dry. If you need a carpet, tile, or upholstery cleaning, just give them a call, 407-315-1775. Or you can check them out at centralfloridakimdry.com. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Anthony Coleman. And I'm Chris Gonzalez, and this is my GSPN Recap, where as always, you guys know, it's your sports, all you, you, all the time. We'll see you guys next time.